Hi everyone, today I want to show you an interesting update to the DALI 3 functionality at OpenAI, which is quite under the radar. At least I did not read anything about it and just found it out by myself. You can now not only generate images, but also make granular updates. And this was one of the most requested features for DALI. This means that if you now have an image, you can now change certain parts of it instead of always having to generate a completely new image. In this video, I will show you how this all works. Okay, I'm now at chat.openai.com and it's very important that you select the correct model because we have to select GPT-4 to be able to create an image with DALI. So what we want is, we want an image of a cat sitting in front of a sunflower. So let's try this. And now we have to wait a few seconds, so nothing new here. Let's wait until it's finished. Okay, so this is how the image looks like. And if you hover on it, you can give a thumb up, thumb down or download it. But what's new is you can click on this image and now you are in a new editor. And here you have multiple options. First here on the right, you can see this info button. You can click on it. And this is the prompt which was used to prompt DALI 3. So we could copy that prompt and use it in the API to get a very similar or even the same image. But now the most requested feature is here. So we can select parts of this image. Here you can select bigger parts and if you swipe to the left, you can select smaller parts. Let's do it like this. And now what we want is we want to select the face of that cat. You have to make sure that you select a part of that image that is big enough to provide some context. So we now select the whole face and what we want is we want want to add sunglasses. So let's just try this and see what happens. Now a new image is generated and we have to wait a few seconds again. Okay, so this is our new image and if we compare these two images, we can see that the selected areas were changed. So it was not only that we added the sunglasses, but if you have a close look, you can see that also the color of the ears was changed. So everything which was selected was changed. So if you only want to add sunglasses, you should probably only select the part of the eyes. So let's try it again. And now we want to change something else. And here let's change that. Again, we make it pretty naive and say, make that red. And we hope that the LLM or GPT-4 is clever enough to identify that we want to change the color here of this blanket. Okay, so that's the result. And as you can see, the blanket was just removed and not recolored to red. So my first test suggests that you have to be more specific in your prompts compared to what I did. And as you can see here in the text, we even see here's the cat with red sunglasses, but we did not uh, select the sunglasses, so the model was not able to fulfill our prompt. So you have to be, be specific. But yeah, in general, I think this is a pretty new cool feature. So if you did not know about it yet, I highly suggest that you play around with it a bit. So thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.